What is going on ladies and gentlemen, you already know who it is, it is your boy the Giant Dude here. In today's video, we are going to be going over the best settings, graphic settings, when it comes to Call of Duty Vanguard, how to boost your frames and how to get the most FPS on Call of Duty Vanguard. I know a lot of people have been struggling when it comes to their FPS and when it comes to that annoying um, lag that you get in the middle of a game. We're here to help you fix that and make it less often but guys before we get into today's video i just want to say that a good system uh my fresh install of windows is going to go a long way a good cpu and gpu overclock is going to go a long way and a good optimization for windows either 10 or 11 whichever one you have is going to go a long way now if you want to see a little bit more in depth about that i'm going to link frothy's channel down in the top of the description below he has a good playlist where you can do all that yourself and he walks you through it and it's very very easy to follow along and then come back and watch this video because it's going to help you out a lot now some of the stuff that he does is going to be in this video so credit to him because he tests everything he's one of the few guys that test everything latency and all that so we're going to get right into this today and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your nvidia control panel now this is going to be very important and these are the settings that i am using right here so you can go through and see the basically the biggest things are this is just following from him this is how you want to have your nvidia control panel set up you want to have maximum performance highest available and a fixed refresh rate right here you can use g-sync if you want but i personally don't like the feeling of g-sync i can notice it even though it's such a minimal difference and that's basically it now if you wanted to go into and change your color settings guys i want to tell you right now do not use nvidia filters you're going to go right in here you're going to change desktop and then you're going to go and use nvidia color settings okay highest available 8-bit bc rgb and full you're going to do that you're going to adjust desktop color settings now these are the settings that i'm using right now you can message your gamma i have the alienware 240 hertz 1440p monitor i'm on 1440p and this makes everything just pop and it's going to help you out a lot so you want to make sure you have these settings right here next thing you want to do is you want to go down and you're going to go into your documents okay wherever you have your documents at you're going to go to your documents you're going to go to call of duty vanguard you're going to go to players you're going to go into advanced options okay adv options okay you're going to go in here you're going to double click you're going to open this now while you're doing this you want to also open up your task manager and you want to go to performance okay right here you're going to see how many cores you have or what type of processor i have an amd ryzen 5900x if you're on amd systems you are going to want to set your cores to 12 okay so in here you're going to go to thread count for handling the job queue and you want to have it to where it is set to 12 whatever this number is you want to set it to 12 if you're on a 5800x or 5600x or 5700x whatever you're on you're going to set this to your uh core count your window worker count now if you're on intel systems they say you want to half it and the lowest you want to go is to the four core so if you are on an intel system and you have you know 12 cores you're going to set that to half to six if you are on an intel or uh, like a four core processor, you wanna leave it at four. But for AMD systems, like I'm on an AMD system, you want to leave this at 12, put this at 12. And then we're gonna hop over into Call of Duty Vanguard. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the best graphic settings that you're gonna be running to get you the most FPS and the most visual quality for you. Now keep in mind, I'm on 1440p. If you're on 1080p, your frames are gonna be even higher than what I am. So we're gonna hop right over into Call of Duty Vanguard. I'm gonna be showing you guys the best settings for that. All right guys, so now that Vanguard is loaded up, next thing you wanna go to is you wanna go to settings. And the first thing that you wanna go to is interface, okay? And you're gonna scroll down until you see crosshair bobbing. You want to make sure you turn this off. If you ever feel like your aim is kinda off in this game, Make sure you turn off crosshair bobbing. That is going to go a long way. Now, the next thing we're going to get into is the graphics. You're going to first go to gameplay here. Your field of view is whatever you want to play on. Your uh, ADS field of view is going to be unaffected for me, but you can do independent, whichever one you are comfortable with. Most important thing here is camera movement, 
world motion blur and weapon motion blur nvidia uh reflex low latency you want this on boost but you want these two on off and you want the camera movement to 50 per negative or 50 percent you want it basically the lowest possible next the next thing we're going to go to is we're going to go to quality here and my render resolution is set to 100 100 if you guys are struggling on frames or if you're on a really low system you can drop this down to like 75 percent i wouldn't say go below 75 okay but you want to keep this at 100 if you're doing good on FPS. You just want to boost it a little bit more. Dynamic resolution, you want this off. Turn this off. Texture resolution, you want on low. I personally don't see a difference between low, medium, or high. I, so I just keep it on low. You want to have your texture filtering anastropic. I have that on high. Clears up some of the blurriness. Everything else, low, low, off shader quality you want low and this by the way guys this is like competitive settings to get you the most fps now if you want even more fps drop everything to low and it's going to help you out and boost those frames even more but these are the f the settings that i use and this is the fps i get at 1440p i get around 170 to 240 so that's perfect for me um level of detail render distance i have on standard you can put this on short i don't really notice a difference between long and standard so i just keep it on standard uh nearby level of detail you have on high because you want to see the detail when someone's up close to you you want to see them hiding you want this on high you want distance a level detail of distance you want on high uh clutter draw distance i have on short basically what this does with it on short it doesn't have that much as you can see in the picture there's less of this flower scenes. So you can see someone back there and there's more here. So I have this on uh, short. Um, I have this one on low because I don't want lighting that, yeah, that we don't want that. Screen space, reflection and shadows, you want on off. Shadow map resolution, you want very low. Sun cast, you want this on low. Cash sun shadows and cash bot shadows, you want on on. Uh, spot size, you want, or spot cache size, you want low. Spot shader quality, you want low. And particle quality, you want low. Ambient occlusion, you want off. Make sure that is off, off, off. Uh, NVIDIA DSL, you don't want that on. Now, here's where the huge game changer is that's gonna make your game look that much better. Fidelity casts, um, basically you want all of these, and NVIDIA DLS and Fidelity Super Resolution, you want both of these off and you wanna turn on Fidelity cast and what that basically is going to do is it's going to make your game look that much more sharper that much more crisp and it's going to make the game look totally different it's going to feel like you're playing a different game and it really does help out even at 1440p at 1080p you guys are going to notice this even more and it's going to look that much more crisp you'll be able to see people next thing you want this filmic sma 2x you want that on this one right here i don't know it defaults to filmic sma you want this on smaa you want that on right here you can't turn this off unfortunately that's a field you definitely want off and on my vram target usage i have at 85 percent so that is that and you want to make sure you save all these guys next thing you want to do is you want to go to display make sure you're playing on full screen your native resolution this is my monitor right here my refresh rate is the highest it can go 1440 uh 240 hertz uh vsync i have on off vsync menus i have off my frame rate limit is custom i have it set to the highest and i just limit my end game frame rate from the menus to 60 and then my out of basic when i alt tab i have it at 30 so there's that aspect ratio i kept on automatic brightness now here's another thing i kept that at default basically if you go too high with this it's going to look really washed out so i keep it at the default 50 and it looks just fine um, I don't play with HDR. My display gamma is sRGB um, 2.2. That's what I play on. Um, HDR I have off. Focus mode you want on off. Display adapter is basically your graphics card. And then basically on demand texture streaming, you want to go in here, make sure you turn this off. You do not want on demand texture streaming on. It's going to help you guys out so much when it comes to the latency and when it comes to that random packet loss that you get in game turn this off it's going to fix it it's a lot better trust me you want that off and guys that is pretty much it with everything um we can go to gameplay back here we can go to color these are the color settings that i use with my monitor and it looks the best for me so if you guys want to copy these color settings you can do that i basically the enemy color is on this one it's default but basically you can put that on red or on i know in black house cold war i had it on purple i also like that so it's basically whatever you guys want it's personal preference but that is what i use and guys that is the best graphic settings i can give you for call of duty vanguard 
and that's basically going to help boost your frames make the game feel a lot more smoother and a lot more responsive i also have another video coming out later this week when it comes to the best mouse settings and the best sensitivity for you guys always remember to stay blessed and stay humble if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like on it subscribe if you guys are new and like i said always remember to stay blessed and stay humble and i'll see you guys in another video peace